After 12 years of watching Rick Grimes and his family survive the Walker apocalypse, The Walking Dead has finally come to an end. Though it's sad to see any long-running series go, fans are particularly upset about this one because it wasn't satisfying enough to them. Release behind-the-scenes images of an alternative ending have also played a part in stroking the ire of the fans. We'll be covering all of that in today's video. First up, The Walking Dead's Last Breath. On November 20th, The Walking Dead, a show that's been running for 12 years straight, finally came to an end. No matter what happened, it was destined to be, at the very least, a bittersweet moment for fans that have been watching Rick Grimes and his family and friends battle the horrors of the zombie apocalypse. The series has had its ups and downs, which of course is what happens when you go on as long as this show has, but no one has followed the progression of the narrative ever expected the finale to be so divisive. The final episode was written by Angela Kang, who has served as the showrunner for the last three seasons of the show, so it's safe to say that she's had enough experience to be put in charge of this huge task. The screenplay writers were Jim Barnes and Corey Reed, and the director was Greg Nicotero. All three of those guys have a lot of experience working on The Walking Dead, so it's hard to believe that they couldn't end things in a way that satisfied the people that have stuck with them throughout the show's run. But that's what's happened. Though some fans think it was a fitting end to the stories of everyone we met back in Season 1 and still remained, a sizable part of the fan base found it disappointing. The vocal majority on Twitter was of the latter camp. It has to be said that some characters will have their journeys expanded on in the spin-off series. Next, ending the Commonwealth arc. The Commonwealth was quietly introduced back in Season 10 with Eugene making contact with someone called Stephanie over a homemade radio in the hope of making new allies while the Whisperer story arc was happening. The two began to form a bond which culminated in Eugene giving out information about the Alexandria community. Once they realized that their two communities weren't far apart, the two agreed to meet, and so the Commonwealth story arc was set in motion. Season 11 is when things kicked off and the folks at Alexandria were fully in involved with the Commonwealth community. Some of the original characters from the early seasons integrated into the community, and in doing so, learned about the shady actions being taken by the neo-politicians and administrators in charge. As always, our scrappy group of OG survivors don't seem to take too kindly to what's going on, and they push back. That pushback resulted in bad actors in the Commonwealth cracking down on the communities of Alexandria and Hilltop. There's, of course, a lot more intrigue going on, with individuals at the top of the Commonwealth competing for power, but that hardly matters to the battle-hardened folks that have survived with Rick Grimes. By the end of the season, the Commonwealth is pretty much left in ruins by an onslaught of intelligent walkers. The season ends with the return of the series' original protagonist, Rick Grimes, as he surrenders to the mysterious Civic Republic after writing a message to Michonne. Coming up, fan reactions to the finale. As we've said before, fans online have had pretty strong reactions to the finale and most of them aren't positive. One fan said that it's the worst ending of a show as big as The Walking Dead that he's ever seen. Despite bringing back Rick Grimes, the character that basically held everyone's attention up until he was written out back in Season 9, they still couldn't write a satisfying enough ending. The Twitter user compared it to the terrible series finale of Game of Thrones, which is now notorious for butchering its source material and trying and failing to tie up loose ends. But he thinks even G.O.T. resolved its main plot threads, which The Walking Dead didn't do. All it did was set up a new series for old characters and give an ending for the new ones that no one cared for. Another Twitter user said that the season in its entirety was terrible and the finale was just icing on the horrendous cake they constructed. As with Game of Thrones, the sediment seems to be that the finale ruined the entire series, rendering all the time spent following these iconic characters useless. Though some said they were very pleased with how things ended Ended, there were definitely those that were content but still annoyed with how things ended just to set up another show in a now bloated franchise. There will certainly be people that will want to keep up with Rick Grimes in his spin off series with Michonne, but there's no doubt that a considerable part of the fan base has been shed. Let's talk more about positive reactions. We've talked a lot about the series finale from the perspective of people that didn't really feel like it was satisfying, but it hasn't all been negative. One individual on social media said that, while he was sad to see the show, he grew up with and he was happy with the finale. Though Rick Grimes' appearance might seem 
gratuitous and out of the left field to some, he was more than pleased to see the gruff original leader of the show's survivors return. Another said that the showrunners gave the fans a proper ending and thanked them for what he sees as an amazing 12-year run. A lot of the people replying positively to the show's finale praised the people that saw it through to the end, as well as all the cast and crew. Whatever you might think about the finale, you can't deny that everyone involved with the show put in a lot of effort to create and flesh out the world, from the cast that delivered stunning and believable performances of deep sadness and inspiring hope, to the directors and writers that gave them the tools to do so, to the crew that made the world feel as dark and gritty and real as it does. The Walking Dead might not have always been the best entertainment on television, but it succeeded in capturing the imaginations of a lot of people for a very long time. Moving on, an alternative ending. If you're one of the people that didn't like the ending of The Walking Dead all too much, you might get some satisfaction from knowing that there might be an alternate cut out there somewhere. Or you might just be more annoyed by the fact that you didn't get that instead of what was shown in the finale. The news about this alternate ending was confirmed when new behind-the-scenes images from the set of The Walking Dead were released, but rumors of a different cut having been shot were making their rounds prior to the finale being aired. It was expected that a big-time jump would have occurred and grown-up versions of characters like Judith and RJ would make an appearance. They would have apparently been looking for new survivors to add to the Virginia communities. Cinematographer Dwayne Charles Manwiller released images from the shoot of the alternate ending on his personal Instagram account. Those images confirm that there were indeed going to be adult versions of the younger characters from the series. From the clothes and accessories, you could tell they were Judith, RJ, Gracie, and Coco. Apart from a shot of the time jump altered cast, Manwiller also included a picture of the set and the cinematography setup, asking if hardcore fans could figure out what was going on in the scene. Lastly, how the alternate ending could change things. If the original ending, now considered the alternate, was kept, things would be quite different. For one, it would have definitely felt more final than the ending we got. Many people thought that the actual series finale was a better beginning, leading into the Rick Grimes spin-off rather than a conclusive end. By incorporating a huge time jump suggested by the behind-the-scenes images, we would have gotten a clear look at the future lives of the next generation of survivors, which is what the originals were striving to ensure. But the problem with the time jump would be that there wouldn't be a lot for the spin-off series to work with, or would muddy things up if they didn't account for the time jump in them. We already know that a lot of the main characters are going to continue their stories in separate series right after the finale's time period. A look into the far future would leave a lot of questions hanging in the air for the spin-offs to answer, rather than focusing on their own stories. Still, there's no doubt that a time jump would have given us a better sense of the story being complete than what we got. This finale certainly didn't feel like a conclusion, but rather an excuse to multiply the franchise properties. Well, that's a wrap for this video, so did you enjoy The Walking Dead's finale, or would you have preferred the alternate ending? Let us know in the comments below, and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.